Hi, I'm Neil Hunt. I'm the digital lead of Broadband World Forum, and I'm here with Dario from Ovum. Dario, now obviously as an analyst uh, and as an analyst firm, Ovum, you must have been to several of these Broadband uh, World Forums over the, over the years. Quite a few. Um, what event? What um, trends have you seen emerging? How how are things changing? Um, obviously, we see a lot of of the usual. So, how how far can you go with fiber, and what do you do when you can't go ahead with fiber closer to the premise? Obviously, we see advancement in uh, digital fast and so on and so forth. But I think probably this year, for the first time, it becomes more obvious the importance of wireless defined experiences when talking about the broadband market. I know we're talking about a wired market, but wireless is becoming more more important in several areas. So by that, you're to, you know, obviously one of the practical examples of that is, you know, you get into your house, the first thing you do is connect your mobile phone to your, to your wireless network. Not only your mobile phone, but uh, several other devices uh, that are already connected and stay in the house or devices coming in and out of the house. I think um, one of the topics that is picking up a lot here is the fact that whatever speed you bring into the pipe, there is a potential failure point and that is the Wi-Fi into the home. Uh, so, and in fact, the, the Wi-Fi, ex the, the broadband experience is only as good as the one that the Wi-Fi can deliver in the home. And that is something that still needs to be sorted. And it's becoming really obvious at this event that there is industry attention towards that area of the business. Well, certainly we heard that from uh, Nokia. But I mean, uh, but, uh, further to that, you know, there seems to be quite a lot of conversation we heard from, from BT, obviously a very fiber-centric company, but you know, also from NBN and, and uh, others who were talking about using appropriate technology, bringing fiber as close to the, to the customer as possible, be that business or, or, or consumer, um, but bringing the fiber as, as close as possible and then making the best out of the, the existing infrastructure. Is that, is that a, a trend which you think will continue or is that something that eventually will get so close to the customer that there will be no copper left in the ground? There will be copper left in the ground for a very long time, I think. Um, but what you are alluding to is the fact that we are going to see in the near future and probably in the long term, uh, from the end mile point of view, an approach of mixed technology options. I think operators have become really pragmatic about it. It's like I, far, I go as far as I can and then the last mile I use whatever is available. Could it be mesh Wi-Fi? Could it be FWA? Could it be 5G? After all, the world is truly converging and 5G is indeed one of the pieces um, of the puzzle for the uh, gigabit connectivity in the home. Now, obviously, 5G is, you know, it's, it's out there with IoT as one of these big emerging trends. You know, it's, it's the backbone uh, to, to many future technologies, um, for, you know, from kind of smart cities, self-driving cars, you know, and, and uh, critical communications. But it's interesting that often, or what's been talked about here is the business case is being built around faster broadband and better connectivity for home. When do you see that changing or how do you see that, you know, when do you think we'll have A, that kind of beginning point of 5G driven faster broadband and B, that kind of more ubiquitous 5G offering, you know, the promise of the gods? Okay, let's not forget that 5G will need lots of fiber. And 5G is one of the drivers of fiber. Um, so let, let's not forget that point. Um, the, there isn't a, a natural uh, um, <clears throat> tipping point when we talk about fiber. It's, we have seen it gradual and gradual and gradual. Um, when we look at 5G, clearly today we are still looking at the mobile domain as a main driver of the initial part of 5G. We are still lo looking at EMBB. Um, which brings me to an observation here. Um, we started a conversation about fixed broadband and we ended up talking about mobile. And just like we did to the, right now, I think this is um, the template of most of the conversations we've seen here at the Broadband World Forum. We start talking about fixed broadband and we ended up the discussion on mobile. Um, so probably this is uh, um, an anticipation of the things to come in the future, not only events, but the reality of the market. And then I suppose just, just finally, you know, with all the different technologies involved in, in you know, getting 
high-speed broadband uh, to walls, as it were. Um, there's a kind of drive towards virtualization. You know, how do you how do you see the the adoption of that going? Um, somebody once said uh, that uh, virtualizing a network is is a bit a running network is a bit like changing the engine of a car while the car is running. So <laughs> bearing keeping in mind that um, I think. Obviously, the market is moving forward quite uh, decisively. I think there is an alignment of pretty much everybody in the, in the ecosystem, and it's happening. Um, how fast is that happening? It's probably a few, still a few years um, until we get there definitively. Brilliant. Dario, thank you very much for your time. Cheers.